one. Take it away, Jay. Hey, hi there. I'm Jay, the Gourmet Indian Chef. Welcome back to my home. Today we're going to make a very easy, very simple, but phenomenal, phenomenally easy and phenomenally delicious uh, Hari Chutney. Hari Chutney is a uh, ubiquitous, so to speak, in India. It's made in every household all over, all over India and Pakistan. And it's, everyone makes it in their own way, with their own methods, with their own um, ingredients. This year is my easy and delicious version. What does hari mean? Hari is green chutney. Green chutney. Come on over, let me introduce you to the ingredients. We have fresh cilantro with stems, soft stems which is where most of the flavor in this beautiful herb resides. And to the contrary here in mint, we have removed the stems completely because any hint of stem in the, in the mint leaves has the capacity to darken your chutney in a flash. We have some green chilies, garlic cloves. We have yogurt, toasted cumin seeds and ground cumin seeds, toasted and ground cumin seeds rather. Uh, we have lemon juice, sunflower oil, and then to finish we have salt and yes, mayonnaise. Mayonnaise. I'll tell you more about the mayonnaise later. But let's begin with our chutney now. And we're going to, as, as we always do, pour the liquids into the bottom of the blender to facilitate movement of the blade, to make it easy for the blade to move. I love that this is a blender only dish. No cooking involved. No cooking involved. No cooking involved. What did you just put in? Yogurt. We start with the sunflower oil, the yogurt. And then we're going to put the lemon juice, the chilies. And we're going to quickly just give a little smash to the garlic. Just smash them a little bit. Pour them in the in here. So the cumin, and that's it. And now we're going to feed some of the cilantro in here. Not all of it, some of it, and some of the mint. And we're going to start our blending. As always, start off on a low speed. Give it a little stir. You don't want to blend this chutney too much because otherwise you, you are going to just cook it with the heat of the blender and then the color is going to turn shortly, right? So we don't want to do that, but I think we are ready now to bring it out into the bowl. And voila. Fresh, green, vibrant. Cilantro mint chutney, known all over India as Hari chutney. And now we're going to finish our chutney off by adding the mayonnaise to keep the to keep the chutney fresh and vibrant and uh, and hold it uh, to, for it to hold its color uh, while you store it in the in the refrigerator as you use it over a few days this can again as i said be made um, ahead ahead of time and be used over a few days be stored in the refrigerator very easily no problem at all and here we go we'll salt it about 
a tablespoon and a half of salt. It depends on your flavor profile, obviously. I like salt. And, and here we're going to add the mayonnaise. The mayo. Today we're using uh, Kewpie mayo, Japanese mayo. And we're going to just blend it in all together. That's our cilantro mint chutney, hurry chutney. Give it a try. Delicious with samosas, with uh, popper, with uh, chips, with any kind of, it works as a dip with anything. Serve it with fish too. Cheers, with fish as well, yes, with fried fish, which with a dip is a, um, I've had it on a burger at times. It acts like a, almost like a chimichurri. Here you go, let's taste that and see how it goes. Perfect. Delicious. Sparky. Alive. Refreshing. Oh my God. So, you could be an Indian gourmet chef as well. Because I got you. And I am, after all, the gourmet Indian chef. <laughs>